So for chapter seven, it's a really short chapter and it's going to be going over financial income, um, financial statements. The first one we're going to deal with is what's called an income summary. And the title is going to be the same as what we did in our worksheets. So the first row is going to be the company's name. And we get this up top um, in the instructions. Row two is what type of financial document this is, and this is an income statement that we are going to create here. And then the third row, we're going to put for month ended May 31st, and then 20 whatever it's going to be with the two dashes. So that's the heading. That's the same for balance sheet. The only thing that changes is row two will say balance sheet and then it will be a specific date for row three. The second part um, that they want us to do is going to be, we're gonna determine if it's an expense or a revenue or if it's a neither. So everything that's in the balance sheet is gonna be a neither. So Cash is in neither, petty cash is neither, supplies is neither, prepaid insurance is neither, your accounts payable is neither, capital is neither, drawings neither, and then that little tip, income summary, everything down below this is going to be in the income statement. So the only revenue that you're going to have is called your sales, and that's the only revenue that you're going to have. And then the rest of these are all your expenses and they've helped you out because they put expenses right next to it. So then the next step, we're going to actually write from our um, papers up here, our work paper up top. We are going to take these numbers and put them into our income statement. So our cells, if you look up top here, is $5,800. Okay, and then you're gonna go and put how much is in each one of your expenses. Again, you can get these numbers from up top in your work papers. So in your advertising, we have 750. In cash short and over, we have $3. In insurance, we have 610. Miscellaneous, we have 167. Supplies is 540. Utilities is 300. Now, we're going to total up all of our expenses. So if you add them all up, you should get 2370. Now, we've already done and figured out this number before. It should match up here in our work papers that we did before, it should match the total on the debit side on the income statement because that's just totaling up your expenses. All right, go to the next step. Now, we're going to figure out if it's a net loss or a net income. A net loss is if our expenses are higher than our sales. So if this number down here, the 27, uh, 2370, if that is higher than our sales, then it would be a net loss. So I can look at this and see that is a net income. We take our sales, the 5,800, and subtract 2370, and that is how much we get to bring home and put in our account. So we get to bring home 3430. Right, so that's how we figure out our net income. Now this next um, section is what's called the percentage of sales. This is very helpful for our business owners because then they can see how much um, we're making in sales, but how much of our sales is going to our expenses and how much is actually going into our net income. So what we do is we divide all the time over sales. We divide it always over cells. So it would be 5800. And we would divide it over cells, which is 5800, which is one. So 
our cells will always be 100 unless you have um, multiple cells. All right, so this next one, we're going to take 2370 and we're going to divide it by 5800. And it's 0 0.40. So remember to move that decimal place over two times. So it's going to be 40. And then if you notice right here, the 6, it, if it was 5, I mean, if it was 4 or below, then we would round. Um, just keep it the same. If it's the 6, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, or 9, um, we're going to round this number up, this one up to 9. So it's going to be 40. Point nine. So we want to make sure we round up to the nearest tenth. We're going to do the same thing on our net income. So we're going to take 3430 and we're going to divide it by 5800. So this is going to be 59.1 because this number is lower than four, 5. So 59.1. So right now we can see that 40% of our cells is going into our expenses and we are bringing home 59% of our net income. So that's how we um, calculate out and make our income statement. This is what we would actually give our bosses. So really nice. If you have any questions, please ask your teacher.